The Lace Wallet developed by IOG has officially set itself apart with the release of the brand new multi-staking or multi-delegation feature, which allows for Cardano community members to delegate and support multiple SPOs from a single wallet. What is up, Ada Nation? Welcome to Dapp Central. My name is Fareed, and as a part of today's video, I am excited to be breaking down some pretty big news coming out from the Lace Wallet. For those of you who are not aware of the Lace Wallet, this is a wallet released and developed by IOG, one of the three founding arms building and bringing awareness as to what Cardano is. Now, the focus of today's video will be the release of version 1.5 for the Lace Wallet, which brings in the biggest feature, which is actually one that was highly anticipated, which is the ability to delegate to multiple pools within a single wallet. Now, they did also add some additional support for Ledger, as well as made some updates for Ada Handle, and they've also recently integrated Ada Handle customization as a part of SIP number 68. So all of that said, the Lace team continues to build, they continue to iterate, and I believe we can also expect a mobile version coming out as a part of their future release. So what I wanna do as a part of today's brief update is jump into the multi-delegation feature, what it has to offer, and then I'm actually gonna walk you guys through a brief example of myself delegating to a total of five different stake pools. So it reads here as a part of the introduction, since its main at launch in April of 2023, the Lace Lite Wallet platform has iterated through several upgrades, regularly adding new features and enhancing usability. I can definitely attest to this. They've released additional updates and upgrades for NFT support, additional upgrades surrounding different types of fiat and different conversion um, use cases. And the multi-delegation feature is just the latest one. So it reads, the 1.5 release includes a beta version of the multi-delegation or multi-staking feature, which enables LACE users to delegate their ADA to multiple stake pools without partitioning funds across multiple accounts. The only way that this was actually doable prior to this coming out was through the use of multiple wallets, which then requires for you to remember or access multiple different seed phrases. So you can imagine that if you wanted to support five or six different uh, network operators or SPOs, that you'd have to have five or six different wallets in order to go ahead and do this. But that is now going to be a thing of the past with the Lace Wallet being the first ever wallet on Cardano to allow multi-staking or multi-delegation. It continues to read on. Currently, Ledger hardware does not support multi-staking, but they are working on it and support will be added in upcoming releases. To add to some of the updates surrounding Ledger, we did see just general Cardano staking come out, and that was actually done as a part of a Catalyst proposal, which I did release a fully dedicated video for. So we're continuing to see upgrades for hardware wallets, especially with respect to Ledger, and we could expect that the multi-delegation or multi-staking feature will be coming to Ledger as a part of the Lace integration. So what does the multi-staking feature actually mean for SPOs as well as the Cardano community? So this is going to break down some of the benefits, not only from the perspective of a end user or Cardano community member, but also from the viewpoint of an SPO. So it states that the ability to delegate to multiple stake pools offers dual benefits for users and SPOs. Now, with respect to users, they can now delegate their stake to multiple pools from a single wallet, allowing them to spread their stake across multiple community SPOs or stake pool operators. Multi-staking then enables a single account to support different SPOs, projects, as well as organizations, which leads to more diversified block creation and encourages network decentralization. Now, when we're focusing on the SPO's perspective, this will now allow for them to get more exposure, especially if they're a single stake pool operator, and stake pools will now also have a higher chance of being selected by users, thus increasing the pool's delegation base. So a win-win situation, allowing for end users to support multiple stake pool operators, while also giving more exposure and more likelihood of actually being selected by Cardano community or ADA holders. Now, some more information surrounding the actual multi-staking feature itself and what we can expect in the near future. So the first iteration enables stake delegation to up to five different stake pools from a single account. 
And by using the single account model, voting power is not disrupted. So for example, if you are voting um, as a part of Project Catalyst and you have the multi-delegation feature turned on, because everything is done under one single wallet, everything as a part of Catalyst and the voting weight that you hold will still stay the same. Similar with other protocols or other platforms, as long as you're looking at a single account, you should not be impacted by the multi-delegation feature. Now, the new feature allows for the following. Number one, for users to choose the ratio of their pool stake, where the ratio refers to the percentage of the stake am amount assigned to a particular stake pool. One caveat is that the beta version will actually automatically distribute the stake to however many stake pools you have chosen equally. So for example, if I choose two separate stake pools to delegate to, that will be split 50-50. If I were to choose five stake pools, that would then be divided by 20% each. Now, future versions of the multi-delegation or the multi-staking feature will also allow for users to share their delegation portfolio. So imagine being able to create your own portfolio of delegators or dele, um, delegations, I should say, with respect to SPOs, and then being able to share that with the community to therefore raise awareness to number one, who you're supporting, but then potentially give them an idea as to how they can set up their portfolio and who they may want to look at supporting within the community. So I believe that will take us here through the introductory article. As you guys can see here, this does break down the multi-staking flow and exactly how you guys can go ahead and actually begin the process of staking to multiple SPOs. If I jump over to the next tab, I've got my own uh, Lace wallet already opened up here. I'm looking at the tokens right now, and this is on the preview network. I've also got another tab here for my NFTs. I can view my recent activity, and then I'm gonna jump into the actual staking portal. So from here, I have an overview. Right now, I'm not currently staking any of my 35,000 ADA, but if I jump back over to browse dirt certain pools, I can actually hover over them and I can actually select to stake to that particular pool. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly select five of these. And as you guys can see there, once I select the pool, it allows for me to unselect. I'm going to add my second pool here, my third pool, fourth pool, and then the fifth one. And if I try to add an additional pool, it does let me know there that I've already um, selected the maximum number of allowable pools. If I click on next, you're then going to notice that it automatically um, breaks down the actual delegation. Again, right now, you don't have the ability to change the percentage amount or the ratio. But in future versions of the Lace wallet, they will allow for us to basically identify how much we want going towards which stake pools. If you want to go ahead and actually delete a stake pool, you can do that directly from this page here. And if I get myself out of the way there, I can actually also go ahead and actually search and add a stake pool in the event that I were to remove one from this current screen. Again, we have the status at the very top, which lets us know that we are ready to stake. And then we have the total amount that will be broken down in ratios of 20% amongst the five pools that we've selected. If I were to delete a stake pool here, you can see that that graphic up here then updates. The number of pool has also updated. And then I can now see that the percentage is now updated to 25% as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just add another stake pool. And I'm just going to go ahead and just pick another one here. And we're going to jump back over again, it updates and then I'm going to click on next. I can then confirm the total amount of ADA. I can see the USD conversion and then I can see the list of the five stake pools that I want to go ahead and delegate my ADA to. I've got a staking deposit and then a transaction fee, which I'll acknowledge. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter my password and confirm. So just like that, I have now delegated to five different stake pools in one single transaction. So a pretty big update here coming out from the Lace team. Again, this was one of the highly anticipated features to be rolling out in addition to the launch of their mobile platform. So now that we have multi-delegation, I would assume that we're gonna to begin to see this coming into other wallets. For example, Yoroi, Nami, hopefully Eternal, Typhon, etc. But Lace is the first to go ahead and do this. Again, they needed something to help them stand apart. And I think this is the very first piece that we're seeing coming out from this team, which again is backed by IOG to actually do that. 
So let me know what you guys think of this brand new delegation feature. You know, how will you be using this to support multiple SPOs? If you're an SPO, are you excited that this is going to now give you a, a much more level playing field and a much bigger opportunity to gain more delegation from supporters that might be in your community? So last but not least, I want to jump back into the overview here. And what I want to show you guys is what this actually looks like once we've delegated to the five stake pools. So I can now see that I have multi-delegation enabled. I can see my ADA balance, which is currently delegated. I can see the total number of pools. And then as I scroll down, I can get all of the information surrounding each of the pools. So I can see the ROS, the fee, the margin, the total reward, and the last reward given the epoch schedule. I can also see the total amount staked between each of the stake pools, which as I mentioned earlier right now is 20%. So they are, are going to be showing the same exact amount. Again, a huge update coming out from the Lace team, and I could not be more excited to be bringing this news to you guys here in the Cardano community. I believe that will take me to the end here for today's video. As always, if you guys found this to be helpful or insightful in any way, shape, or form, I would appreciate you if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me surrounding Lace or their brand new multi-delegation feature, then make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.